Hello folks, and back with a, another thoughts on video. I know I've been MIA in terms of doing reviews, but yeah. Um, this video, I guess, will be, or well, this version, I'm going to just put st uh, uh, just me talking pretty much on YouTube and the other version will be with visuals of pretty much matches and uh, the actual video of the you know the chamber match for the women which was a disappointment in my opinion before I get started I will say if you enjoyed this entire pay-per-view or even this ending then good for you, but I don't, let alone didn't, in terms of already knew the outcome, which I don't know who didn't know the outcome, and I mean, I'm not a fan of Shayna Baszler to begin with at all. Yeah, she's from NXT, but so what? There's other people down there I think deserve to come up on the main roster. Such as, I don't know, Io, Io Shirai. I think she deserves it. Um, not really familiar with a lot of the women down at NXT. I know Tegan Knox, I think that's her name. I think she should come up, because why not? Uh, Bianca Blair, maybe, though I'm not really a fan of her gimmick with her hair. <laughs> she reminds me of, like, a character from Mortal Kombat, but anyway. This match, again, I already knew the outcome, so I can't really hold it against... I don't want to hold it against that, because that was it. But the way they went about it, such as... Okay, so we're gonna have, what was it, Nat was it Natalia and um, Ruby Riot start off first, I believe, and then we'll have Sarah Logan come in, and then they'll fight a little bit, and then we get uh, Baszler in there, and then she just mops the floor with everybody. Granted, she's a cage fighter, so this is her specialty. I don't care. It, I thought it didn't, it didn't let the other women showcase anything what they could do in a chamber match, let alone match. I mean, if I would have booked this, I would have put it where Shayna is the last to enter. Just have her clean house instead. Like, why not? We already know the outcome, so like, why not? Why not let the other women showcase what they can do? And everybody's anticipating for Shayna to come in there and just dominate. I think it would have been cool if they all tried to team up on her for a little while and then go against each other. And then she just wipes them all out. Or really, she just, I don't know, watches most of them take each other out and then goes in for the kill or something. But Nope, we have her tap, uh, tap out or choke out Sarah Logan. Uh, beat up Natalia. Beat up um, Ruby Riot, and then we get. And this whole time she's like taunt, taunting, uh, or or Oscar's like taunting her, waiting for her to get out, so we can have those two fight. <laughs> and it's funny they let Oscar have uh, some time with Shayna, but not Liv. Get out of here. I mean, granted. She, but, um, yeah, and then when we get to Liv Morgan, it's, you know, she came out with a one kick to the gut to, uh, Shayna, and then she kicked her again, and she tried to fight back a little bit. She only got, like, two hits in, I'm like, wow. And then she was done automatically when she got slammed, or banged into the, uh, 
one of the chamber door things or pod things. So I'm like, wow. Again, a way I would have had it at least. She's determined to, you know, win. Like, let why not let her have some time to, you know, fight up against the chain up for a minute. Like, have her play around with her or something. I don't know. Throw her around or. But nope. We just have her choke her out and then she passes out and then. And this whole time, and then during these uh, eliminations, after she eliminates, like, Sarah, Natalia, and um, Ruby, then we have this pacing back and forth for, like, eternity. I'm like, uh, where's the timer? Like, is the, the guy on on the timer like, uh, on the coffee break or something? Like, we shouldn't have Shayna walking, pacing back and forth for an hour, it felt like. Or at least 20 minutes. Like, it seemed like their matches when they had... It seemed like... Uh, wasn't last year's... It seemed like that match was quicker. In terms of people getting... Coming out of their pods. Maybe it's just me. But yeah, uh, she chokes out Liv Morgan. Which... I am a fan of Liv Morgan, so I didn't like that. And this whole thing with her against the riots or the Ruby and Sarah, I thought was eh. I mean, even her return, like, was granted, oh, we're, she's a lesbian, but no, she isn't because uh, Lana's, like, all of a sudden gone, just vanished. Oh, we, you know what? We're getting a lot of backlash from that, so we're just going to write her out. Or not even write her out, just she's not mentioned at all. Anymore. Apparently, I guess. So I don't know what that's all about. Um. What else? But yeah, the, they had a match on Raw the other this past week, last week I think it was uh, Liv versus Ruby for no reason. And then oh, uh, we're gonna face each other. No, that was a signing. Never mind. I'm sorry. That was a signing. Contract signing. But they did face each other maybe a week before that. But even then, like, we're going to fight, we're going to fight each other and then we're going to carry this storyline on for till, what, WrestleMania? If they even are allowed to carry that on on that show. I thought, wasn't there supposed to be two uh, women's uh, elimination chambers? But then I figured, no, because, what, uh, isn't Sasha Banks on vacation or whatever with Bailey? So I guess this was mainly a Raw uh, pay-per-view, I guess. I guess everything was Raw-oriented. But, yeah, I... Did not care for this match. Again, already knew the outcome. I guess everybody already did. I joked. I guarantee you to let Asuka probably showcase, uh, be the last one, and they'll fight for a little while. I'm like, what? and then they do it. I'm like, wow. I called this match. And even the fight with Asuka was boring, because. Like, it wasn't even interesting. This is, like, you already kind of, I guess, knew they were going to fight. But... Or have it where, I don't know, Asuka eliminates at least two people, maybe. Or eliminates one person and, you know, that anticipates, oh, maybe Shayna has a, a rival going on here. Or she gotta watch out, but nope. We gotta make uh, Shayna look tough and dominant and Brock Lesnar status and clean house. Anyway, that's my thoughts on this pay-per-view.
And yeah, I think I might review, or not review, but give my thoughts on tomorrow night's Raw. See if they actually continue this stupid storyline with Liv and Ruby and Sarah Logan. For whatever reason. Which I don't... They need. To, I mean, what can you really do with those three? I mean, is anybody even interested in that storyline? I mean, I don't even get the appeal of Ruby Riot. I thought she. I think she's kind of boring in the ring. Sarah Logan, I think, is decent, but not given enough time to really do much. So, uh, Liv Morgan, I think, is really good, but she needs to ditch. I think she needs to ditch that, uh, what is it, uh, black cat costume thing. Her attire kind of, I mean, it's not bad, but it's just, I think maybe better, something better. I mean, the fact that, oh, uh, Charlotte beat me, and I want to change, so I'm going to be different, or I'm going to be real when I come back. And then she comes back in these slow promos and in a tub and in a robe and then makeover. And oh, she comes back with, oh, she's with Lana or something. And then that goes away. And so, you know, I mean, I don't know really what you can do with her. I mean, I would like her where Becky is, but, like, have her be one of the top main stars, be like Sasha Banks, even though she's kind of fallen from grace as well, again. She looked promising coming back, and then she's coming right, she's going to go right where she belongs, next to Bailey. Second fiddle to Bailey, because they're best friends, and. It's 2018 all over again. And that was really the worst time for her. But I'm still, uh, this is still Sasha Banks, slash AJ Lee, slash Alexis Bliss, and slash now adding Liv Morgan channel as well. So, I do still hold those three, or four, or whatever, up, but, oh yeah, and I, um, yeah, the whole, and now Sasha with Becky, or not Becky, but with Bailey facing Lacey and Naomi for whatever reason, and then they lost, and they got nerve to make, uh, Sasha lose in her own hometown, but yet, next, and then the next week, oh, she wins in a whatever against Naomi, I'm like, okay, I mean, granted, they weren't really bad matches, but they were th kind of throwaway, because it wasn't, they weren't really eye-catching, they weren't really great, I didn't really see any botches, so I don't know what people are saying, oh, Lacey botches a lot, maybe I'm just oblivious to it or something, but I think she's a decent wrestler, I don't think she's great, but She's not on Sasha's level, let alone Bailey. I don't even think Bailey's really all that great either, like a lot of people claim. Whereas their opinion and who they like. But, um, who else? Oh, I guess Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross being. They're still doing that stupid moment of bliss, which I'm like, can we please er uh, retire that? I mean, it's bad enough you put the NWO on there with no Hogan. Where's, like, like wait, weren't they supposed to be? And then I'm hearing, oh, they're not, they were actually the outsiders, I guess. That version of them with Kevin and Scott and X-Pac. So I guess they weren't, the even though they were wearing the T-shirts, but okay. Oh, they're in the Hall of Fame. Like, okay. Don't really care. And... I wanted to see Alexa in the ring, but 
no, I guess. Is she injured? Who knows? I mean, it's bad enough. Sasha wasn't even in the Women's Royal Rumble this year. I think of bowl. Oh, she was injured. She had an ankle injury. I don't care. She could have been on watch along or something. Or she could have been in Bailey's uh, corner at the facing Lacey. But nope. Or at, uh, well, I guess no, because they, I guess they only allowed two women there. That showdown, but Mandy Rose with um, Otis storyline's fine, but all I guess it's starting to dwindle because now, oh, even though he he just said I got a text that uh, so and so you're late or going to be late or something, but she's like, oh, you know what? I don't care. A woman doesn't deserve or doesn't ha shouldn't have to wait or whatever. And, so I guess she's cold to him. So I guess she's not into him anymore. She's with Dolph. And I guess we're going to stretch this to WrestleMania. And then pass that. For whatever reason. Which I think they don't really need to do. I mean, I'm not even really that big a fan of Dolph. I don't even know who the heavy machinery is. I don't, again, I don't watch NXT much. I'm not really interested. I do, I mean, I watched a few matches. They're pretty good on there, I will say. They got some good wrestlers, but... I don't know, I'm not really big on... Even in, even, uh, AEW, I'm not... Granted, when I first saw them, I thought, oh, they're, uh... Pretty good, they're, uh, rivaling events but I haven't been keeping up with that so that's kind of eh. but at any rate I don't know what else to say so I'm going to end this uh, again this will be a podcast version right here for YouTube because I would put video on this one but again YouTube would copyrighted in uh, <laughs> WWE but my bid shoot channel will have the actual match at least I hope it will let me do that and visuals pretty much so uh, yeah So I hope to see Liv, I guess, or my thought, I guess my hopes for tomorrow night, I hope Liv gets to showcase what she can do more. Why not have a triple threat match with the three? Why not that? But anyway, put them in a match. Triple threat. Easy. I know we're going to have a boring Becky and uh, Shayna promo or fight out or whatever or raw but yeah anyway hope you enjoyed this little podcast thoughts on right a little rusty at the moment so but uh yeah like comment subscribe and share what are uh comment below or leave below if you if you enjoyed the uh, pay-per-view or parts of it or if you hated it, but, uh, yeah, uh, peace and love.